Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our songs to you, God of daybreak, God of shine. Stars that grace the darkness in the blazing sun of dawn of the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that warms the weary soul, love that bursts all dreams asunder. Set us free and make us whole. You who meet the heaven splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice. Let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle cross. To lights of red, loving spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all, and also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe, from old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your grace make our darkness bright, for your word
prayers tonight come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. This is a reading from the first chapter of 2 Maccabees, a letter that was drafted and written in between the times of the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible and the period of the New Testament. A letter to Aristopolis, the people of Jerusalem and Judea and the Senate and Judas, to Aristopolis, who is of the family of the anointed priest, teacher of King Ptolemy, and to the Jews in Egypt. Greetings and good health. Having been saved by God out of grave dangers, we thank him greatly for taking our side against the king, for he drove out those who fought against the holy city. When the leader reached Persia with a force that seemed irresistible, they were cut to pieces in the temple of Nania by a deception employed by the priests of the goddess Nania. On the pretext of intending to marry her, Antiochus came to the place together with his friends to secure most of its treasures as a dowry. When the priests of the temple of Nania had set out the treasures, and Antiochus had come with a few men inside the wall of the sacred precinct, They closed the temple as soon as he entered it. Opening a secret door in the ceiling, they threw stones and struck down the leader and his men. Here ends the reading. You know, last week we introduced the very first couple of pages from our resource for this current sermon series. This one written again in the style of a children's book. It's called Cory and the Seventh Story. And today... After hearing a section of scripture of Israel's history that occurred between the times of the Hebrew Bible or the Old Testament and the New Testament, we're going to be sharing the next snippet from that book. And from that day forward, Badger started pushing everyone around to get his own way. He took whatever he wanted, and everyone in the old village was afraid of him and very, very sad. Poor us, they said. Life is so unfair. Who, who, who will help us? cried Owl. We spoke last week of Israel having the experience of dominating the occupants of the land of Canaan and of how the nations of Israel and of Judah were themselves then in turn dominated by the likes of Assyria and Persia, of Babylon and of Rome finally. And we're also noted the the frequent ways in which we're still tempted today to believe that somehow dominance is, is, is again, the answer for everything from sports to business to even the ways that we run our households or our churches. What we need to acknowledge, though, is that even though those temptations are predictable and such practices are certainly widespread and built into the very fabric of our culture and our economy, Jesus seems to make decisions based on a quite different ethic indeed. 
And that ethic is at the core, at the root of our seventh story, one based not on competition or dominance or vengeance in any way. Rather, the seventh story is based first on showing the same kindness to your neighbor that you would have them show to you. But it doesn't stop there. Because second, even more provocative, it means acting out of love even for your perceived enemies. Effectively making them, right, ones with whom you might collaborate, at least, instead of competing, so that they become part of us. So perhaps you and I need to ask ourselves again today, and where it is that you or I, or us together for that matter, are, are needing to surrender our need or our temptation to kind of lash back in ways that may be subtle or overt when we are feeling dominated by another. We need to ask ourselves, how would Jesus respond? Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness, the darkness has, has not, not overcome, overcome it. it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. said, I am the servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One, strong is your kindness evermore. Are you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of all? You have cast the mighty Ones. In your love, Lord, 
rest your weary ones in your love, Lord. Bless your dying ones in your love, O Lord of all. Watch, O Lord, with all those who wake this night. Watch, O Lord, with all those over all who sleep. Soothe your suffering ones in your love, Lord. Heal afflicted ones in your love, Lord. Shield your joyous ones in your love, O Lord, love, Lord. Watch, O Lord, with all those who wake Watch, O oh Lord, with all those who weep. Keep your angels and saints charge over all who sleep. Hold your grieving ones in your love, Lord. Raise your fallen ones in your love, Lord. Then Watch, O oh Lord, with all those who weep. Keep your angels and saints charge over all who sleep. Guard your little ones in your love, Lord. Guide your searching ones in your love, Lord. Oh, grant us all your peace in your love. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise the to you. Be God.